Today I'm going to be drawing this lovely lady, the Goddess Diana from my uh, Goddess series. And the reason I'm going to be redrawing her is because I tried to foreshorten its arm. But when I actually looked back on it after I'd coloured it, I realised that the foreshortening is actually wrong. And instead of looking foreshortened, it just looks like a fat, stumpy arm. Which is not appropriate for a goddess. So, I took the sketch into Photoshop and I extended the arm and I lengthened the bow so that it goes off the page. Let's get started, shall we? very much for watching the creation of Diana. Here she is in all her all her glory, the finished piece. She's very similar to the original piece. Except I have original? New. Uh, the difference being is that I've added a stag in the background of this one. 
which I really like because, you know, it's her totem animal. She should really have a stag with her. And uh, the arm is elongated, the fingers look better, the arm looks better. Uh, the moon uh, is the same. I've changed the surround color from gold to silver. Uh, just wondering whether I might add some silver leaf or some silver wax to the uh, to the moon. Not not sure if she needs it actually. She's pretty she's pretty cool on her own, I think. I do apologize. My camera died during some of the making of this, and I had to kind of. Uh, put the battery in <laughs> to charge and then do a little more drawing because uh, I only have so much time in the day to finish this so I, I had to carry on with the drawing and then start filming again when when the battery <laughs> was a little more full. So I do hope that you kind of got the gist of how I created her and uh, my process of using marker, pencil and pastel uh, in order to create these lovely, these lovely ladies. I hope you enjoyed the making of and I hope to see you again soon.